So my name is Russell Hernandez and I'm the owner, uh, co-owner rather, of Salud de Mesilla. I own the business with my partner Christopher Shaldro. Uh, we've been in business for a little over six years now uh, and supported uh, the Las Cruces International Film Festival for going on about four, maybe even five years. Uh, so a lot of fun. Uh, so I've been involved in the film festival for, for several years uh, on, in different capacities, but once we opened our restaurant uh, here at Salud, we decided that we wanted to give back to the community in a meaningful way, in particular the Film, film Society and, and through the film, film Festival. So w another part of us helping out with the Film Society is working closely with Film Las Cruces. Uh, and bringing films and, and movies into southern New Mexico and helping out with that side. On the restaurant side, we've had the opportunity over the past couple of years to actually cater some of these uh, uh, movies as they're being filmed. Walking with Herb has been one of the, the biggest ones and that's getting ready to have its uh, debut here pretty quickly. Uh, so it's super fun. Uh, so hopefully, we maybe there'll even be something kind of shown, shown during this film festival, who knows? Uh, kind of exciting with that, uh, the, but there's been several other ones. I've uh, met some great actors along the way and had some, some great people. You know, Je Edward James Olmos has become such a near and dear uh, friend of mine. Uh, and you know, it's, it's just great to have those acquaintances that we make along the way. Like, well, I'm, I'm a big movies buff and I love movies. That's another part of why we, why we do that. You know, I grew up in the 80s, so anything 80s movies is what I absolutely love. You know, so when, when I think about those great movies, I think about Fast Times at Ridgemont High, Gremlins, you know, Beverly Hills Cop, some of my favorite movies uh, growing up, just watching that over and over and over again. Uh, so the inspiration that I brought today was specifically from Fast Times at Ridgemont High, one of my favorite movies uh, when, I was, when I was a kid. Uh, in particular, there was a scene in there where um, we have uh, Hamilton, and he was uh, one of the main characters in Fast, Month, uh, Fast Times at Ridgemont High, if you haven't seen it. And he was working for uh, Captain Hook's Fish and Chips. Uh, you know, and it's, we're in a restaurant, so why not bring it back home into a restaurant setting? It's just one of those things. And, and so the meal that I brought to you today that we're gonna be plating up and, and doing is something that you can cook at home and have a little bit of fun with. Uh, we're doing our traditional fish taco like we would do here at the restaurant. So we're, we're gonna be taking this taco. Uh, there's a, a piece of, of four ounce cod that we're gonna be cutting up into a couple pieces after we, we, uh, we typically like our cod to be fried here at the restaurant. That was a little extra crispy, but if you're cooking it at home, you can definitely bake it in the oven and still do that. Or even better, if you have an air fryer, uh, you can definitely use an air fryer to, to do that, that little bit there. Uh, then we're gonna make a, a little bit of an aioli. So an aioli is a mayonnaise-based sauce. So that's gonna basically be your tartar sauce that we're gonna make. And that's a fun part about why we love to play with food here at Salud, it's because you can make that tartar sauce however you want. So we're gonna make a little bit of a garlic aioli today. Saute a little bit of garlic. Uh, toss it with a little bit of mayonnaise and whip that up really good. Add that on, on top of the, the crispy fish. So today we're gonna be making fish tacos. Remember that you can put any little uh, f flair to your fish taco that you want, but we're gonna go through our basic ingredients that we have for our fish taco. So we're taking a uh, four ounce piece of battered cod uh, that we did. This is a beer battered cod that's already been pre-battered. Uh, we're gonna throw this in the oven, uh, which you can do it at home while you're there, or if you have an air fryer, you can definitely do that. Uh, here at the restaurant, we typically uh, fry it in a fryer to give it that little extra crispiness, but since you're making this at home, you can definitely do that uh, by throwing it in the oven. We have three of our little mini tortillas because we like to make our tacos in threes, so we're gonna throw these on the griddle. We're gonna make an aioli. Remember, we said an aioli is a mayonnaise-based sauce. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little bit of our, our minced garlic that we have here. We're gonna saute it in a little bit of olive, or uh, sunflower oil rather. Uh, get that nice and brown, and once we have that done and set, we're gonna toss that in with a little bit of our mayonnaise and stir that up really good. Uh, we'll put that over our, our fish when we have it cut, and then garnish it however we like. Here at the restaurant, we like to garnish with a little bit of pickled vegetable and fresh mirepoix uh, microgreens. Uh, but for you to cook at home, since you might not have the availability of some of those ingredients, uh, we're, we're going to have you top it off with a little bit of fresh uh, lettuce and tomato there, all right? 
So my lovely assistant SB here is gonna get us going, uh, get everything set, and we're gonna start with sauteing our garlic and getting our uh, taco shells warmed up. All right. That sunflower oil in the pan, get it nice and hot. Swirl it around just a little bit, get the base of that pan coated. Add our minced garlic. Saute that just a little bit, get a little brown. While your garlic is sauteing and you're waiting for it to brown a little bit, just throw your, uh, your uh, corn tortillas onto the griddle just to get them warmed up just a little bit. Now, if you don't have a griddle at home, you can definitely use a saute pan there as well uh, to, to warm up those tortillas. You just want to get them a little warm on both sides, a little brown, not too, not too overdone there. Just nice and soft. We like to use corn tortillas here in the restaurant, uh, but a flour tortilla is definitely another choice that you can do whenever you're cooking at home. And sometimes if you don't have the availability of getting smaller tortillas, because we like smaller tortillas, you can get a larger tortilla and then uh, cut that tortilla into, into forks and make that uh, as, as you're doing that there. Adding the garlic, minced garlic into a, a mixing bowl. Then we're going to be adding our mayonnaise into that mixing bowl. And then giving that a really good stir. So we have our little taco holder here that we, we plate tacos on just because it gives a great little presentation and it's super fun. So we just put those taco shells and set them right in there. And then we're gonna take that, that fish that you had baked in the oven. We fried ours for all intents and purposes to get that crispiness. And we're gonna cut that, that piece of fish into thirds. That way there's a little third that fits into each taco shell. Then we're gonna top the, the fish with that little bit of garlic aioli that we just made. Now remember, this is garlic aioli that we made. You can have a little bit of fun with your aiolis and make it however you like. You can make an aioli with serrano peppers. You can make an aioli with sriracha. You name it, you can make an aioli with it and play around. And that's the fun part of, of cooking and having a blast with, with what you're doing is you can make food as fun and exotic as you want and try to mishmash flavors and have a little bit of fun. So at home, just like we said, we're gonna have you top this off with a little bit of fresh lettuce and tomato. Typically here at the restaurant, we do uh, pickled vegetables and microgreens. And there we have our wonderful fish tacos, just like you might receive if you were having a meal out of the 80s movies, Fast Time at Ridgemont High, uh, in particular when Hamilton is working at Captain Hook's uh, uh, fish and chips place. Thank you. Mm -hmm.